Now, I've said this numerous times. Um, Eminem, post the R albums to me, is a completely different artist than Eminem pre the R albums to me. Recovery, Relapse, all of those. But the rapper that Eminem was, my favorite version of Eminem was the pre stuff. This was to me when he was in his prime. And I got to throw this up. We got to do this reaction to Here remind some of y'all. All right, yeah, yeah. Because there's people who be like, man, Eminem's cringe. He's dad jokes. Da, da, da. And this, because they because they hear the version of him now. Bruh. Which I, I don't think all of the critiques of him are, are fair now. But I think a lot of them are. But all this right, thank nigga. You. All right. Kind of retarded kid named Greg with a wooden leg, snatched it off and beat him over the head with the peg. Go to <laughs> this was peak. He didn't give a flying f. Peg. Go to bed with the keg. Wake up with the forty. Mix up with alcohol to reform me the forty forty. There's something about. By the way, that's a bar. That's a bar apparel coming soon. Um, I got hoodies, shirts, but oh my god, there's something to say. This is Rap Olympics Eminem. This is, like I said, from this all the way till about that. Was it the Eminem show? Or was it Encore? No, no. This all the way to Encore to me is almost a flawless run. I'm going to keep it tall. And for that, that's why I always classify him as one of the greatest. Do I think that he's dropping the same? Does his music raps hit me the same way that it used to? Not as much, no. He's technically great, but there's something that was here. Something that was here that I don't know what it is, bro. But... Oh. Formula 44D. Forget an ass tab. I strapped the whole sheet to my forehead. Waited till it absorbed in and fell to the floor dead. No more sad case closed in a discussion. We blowing up like spontaneous human combustion. <laughs> this is fire every single time you hear it. That's that's how you know a nigga really ate a beat. When you can listen to it over and over and you're like, ah, I didn't get it. I'm catching noise. Oh. Put it in my forehead until it absorbs in and I'm laying on the floor dead. Oh. And it's even something about, though Eminem has always been like a nasally person. That's just kind of his voice. There's something about back here where I feel like his voice has more bass than it does now. I feel like he sounds his voice sounds way more thin now where it's like, Emmy, Emmy, Emmy. it's a lot more... Though this is a nasally, there's still more bass to it. And it's just like, is that what it's meant? There's a soul that Eminem got here. Busted. Leaving you in the aftermath of all the cost and traumas. Cross the bombers. We blowing up the house. Killing your parents. Coming back to get your foster mamas. And he, didn't, he didn't give a damn. Boy, did he not give a damn. Oh. Cross the bombers. We blowing up the house. Killing your parents. Coming back to get your foster mamas. And I'm as good as keeping the promises Nostradamus. Because I ain't making no more threat. I'm as good as keeping a promise as Nostradamus. Jesus. And it also feels here. Because what I'm doing with myself too. Is I'm trying to analyze. What is it that I love so much more about this than now? And I'm not saying Eminem is just the wackest rapper now. I'm just saying that this nigga is a different nigga. But I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. Making no more threats. I'm doing drive-bys and tenant Corvettes on Vietnam War vets. Also, I think maybe his voice is landing on the beat a bit better. He's he's also kind of thinking of how to make this flow with the beat well. I think he's thinking of the entire music creation and sprinkling dope rhymes. It's always gonna come with it because that's how he does. But I think he's Vietnam War vets. I'm more or less sick in the head. Maybe more because I smoked crack today, yesterday, and the day before. Saboteur, walk the block with a Labrador. Strap with more corral for war than Al Salvador. Strap with more corral for war than Al Salvador. Jesus Christ. 
trapping more crap before the El Salvador. There's something about Amnesty. There's something like now it's like man, 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 man. We're like a strap of war more for the now Salvador. But I would have a door. The seven I would have a door. And the dad would have a door. It's a very like I don't know, like a there's a pocket that raps like that, but it uh oh. Foul Salvador, verbal cow manure, coming together like an eyebrow, and I'll be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. It's huh. like that. Those random shots you would take a celebrity coming together like an eyebrow on Albie Shore. That bar still hit. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh man. Maybe this just comes with youth. It's like the naivete of not knowing where your words can take you. But I will say, even when Eminem was doing the Grammys, he was still doing this, but like... It's huh. like that, Eminem. Eminem. Uh, Eminem. Right. Eminem. Bust it. What? Crazy, it's only fair to warn, I was born with a set of horns. Em now, I ain't gonna lie to you. This verse, I could... is damn near tattooed in the back of my eyelids. This is one of the best verses... I heard from him. It's only fair to warn I was born with a set of horns. The path of metaphors attached to my umbilical cord. Warlord or rapper, come on, bro. I'm trying to educate the new ones, man. There's a lot of people who just think Eminem's like a cornball. It's, it's like, that's not fair, bro. Don't start reading the story. Don't come in, in the, uh, 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 on the season on the sixth episode. And then judge it the whole. Come on, bro. Eminem bust it. What? Whoa. It's only fair to warn. I was born with a set of horns. Uh -huh. The metaphors attached to my dang umbilical cord. Woo! Warlord of rap, little bastard with a two by four board and smash into your Honda Accord with a four door Ford. But a more toy dropping an acapella to chop a fella to mozzarella worse than a helicopter yeah, propeller. Got you locked in a cellar with your skeleton showing, developing anorexia when I'm standing next to you, eating a full course meal, watching you starve to death with an IV in your vein, feeding you liquid Darvacet. There's something about this that's... <clears throat> is technically complex and technically dope, but it's not... There's a simplicity in the way that he's delivering this and in the way that he's rapping that is actually making the lines land better. Right? Trap a more Carapa Ward than El Salvador is technically very impressive, but it's not. Trap a more Carapador with a Habit Habador, but a Mabador and a Labador. It's not like where it starts becoming word soup. You know what I mean? Like. Ah, full of drugs. Full of plugs and the gunshot victims full of bullet slugs. So we're picked up in an ambulance and driven to receiving with the asses ripped out of their pants and given a less than 20% chance of living. What? Have a possible placement as a hospital patient. Storming their dead bodies, bodies in grandma's, grandma's little basement. <laughs> Dr. Kevorkian is a ride to perform an autopsy on you while you scream, I'm still alive. He's literally performing. Dr. Kevorkian has arrived to perform an autopsy on you while you scream, and I'm still alive. The way he said, I'm through his hands, I'm still alive. He's performing it. And it's the, the it's not a million. Dr. Kevorkian has arrived to perform an autopsy on you while you screaming, I'm still alive. That's not a million syllables crashing into each other for the sake of rhyming syllables. That is, I'm trying to get out, tell you that I am sick like Dr. Kevorkian, and I will perform an autopsy on you while you're still breathing, nigga. Yeah. What? Driving a rusty scalpel in through the top of your scalp and pulling your Adam's apple out through your mouth. Uh, but I caught a fire to There's still lots of syllables in there. Pulling your Adam's apple out through your mouth. A rusty scalpel through your scalp and blowing your Adam's apple out through your mouth. That's horrorcore. That's like, uh. Apartment of fire to arson and set fire to carpet and burn up your entire apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Goat.